Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you how to make this amazing overnight hair growth spray that you can add to your regimen for thicker hair, longer hair and faster hair growth. So if you are interested, definitely be sure to keep on watching. Now before we get into the video guys, I just want to say a massive thank you if you are a returning subscriber. I really love and appreciate your support and if you're new here, please consider clicking the subscribe button to join the family. Now let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient we're going to need for today's recipe will be some cloves. Now cloves are super high in antioxidants and nutrients that can add to the growth and strength of your hair. Um, they can also be used to protect the scalp from downdraft, which is actually a major cause of weak and thin hair. Um, so if you can, definitely add cloves to your regimen and even eat this, it will be super, super amazing. Um, for both your hair and also just your general health because of its high antioxidant content. So for this I'm adding two, about two tablespoons of whole cloves. Now I'm going to go in next with some dry hibiscus. So the ones that I'm using are fine cut but if you've got like the, the full leaves one that will be absolutely fine. Now hibiscus is also amazing to help boost hair growth. It's rich in vitamin C, which um, essentially has been known to be the cause of hair loss. It helps to stimulate hair growth in areas where you've lost hair um, and essentially um, stimulates dormant follicles and grow bald patches. So really, really good. Now, after that, guys, I'm going to go in with some orange peels. Now, orange peel or orange in general is super amazing as a conditioner for the hair. It also helps to control dandruff and it also helps to improve the blood circulation to the scalp leading to more lustrous hair and less hair fall. So really, really amazing. So after I put that together, I just added some water and I'm bringing it to the boil. I'm not gonna boil it for too long. So I think five to seven minutes will be absolutely fine. Now after that's done boiling guys just take it off the stove and this is what it looks like so it should have like a reddish kind of looking liquid so I'm going to pop this in this little jar and allow it to infuse again overnight um, and then the next day I'm going to go ahead and strain it. Um, if you want you can use it straight away the reason why I wanted to get it infused a bit more is so that I could get most of the nutrients out the thing about boiling as well as well is that sometimes if you boil it for too long it does kill some of the um, nutrients in your mixture so just a little bit hot and just allow it to just you know uh, infuse overnight is better so I'm just going to pop a uh, cover on my jar it's not the right cover I couldn't find the right one um, but anyways <laughs> this managed to do and essentially allow it to just sit in a warm place in the house um, overnight and then this is what it looks like the next day so you can see cloves the cloves in this have literally doubled in size uh, and that's how you know that it has most definitely infused a lot more. So after that, we're just going to go ahead and strain it um, so we can separate the debris or the pulps basically from the actual liquid because that's what we want. Now for this, I will be using a recap. Um, but you can actually just strain it without using anything if you want to. You may have some bits of the um, hibiscus left in your um, in your mixture, but it will usually sit at the bottom anyway. So when you're transferring it into your spray bottle, you can get rid of that. So you don't necessarily need the big cap just like I did here, but it was just to um, you know prevent me from doing that step essentially. Now after that strain guys, that's it all nice and done, um, so your spray is nice and ready, so just pop it in your spray bottle so that it's easier to apply and also this can store in your fridge for more than two weeks um, if you're wondering about the shelf life of this. So this is what it looks like, super super amazing, super beneficial for 
thicker hair, longer hair and healthy looking hair in general. So definitely try this out and let me know what you think. Now in this part of the video, I'm going to show you how you can use this and talk about how often you should be using it as well. So I will definitely suggest that you stick around. Now if you've been watching me for a while, you probably will have come across this clip, I'm not sure. Um, but let me know in the comment section down below if you remember this clip guys. This is an old clip of me applying a similar mixture to my hair. The reason why I decided to use this is just because it would save me a lot of time when it comes to, you know, recording and also editing. Um, so, and also it's the same process essentially when it comes to the application process. So I thought I would, I would use it. If you're a YouTuber watching this, let me know, do you keep your old clips? Um, I just think it's super amazing because then you can see how far your hair has come if that kind of makes sense but anyways um i just thought i would i would use the same clip essentially um so but the application process like i said guys is exactly the same so i'm just sort of applying it to my roots you know and then i'm gonna apply it to my ends and also the rest of my hair and just make sure that it is properly um saturated so give it a good massage so you can get everything on the hair Okay guys, don't also forget to apply it to your ends because it's the oldest and the driest part of your hair. So you want to make sure that that part is also really taken care of because otherwise it is going to break and you're not going to see length retention. So after I've applied that guys, I'm just going to go ahead and just, you know, detangle um, the hair. You can also apply oil or butter or butter after this just to help you seal the moisture in your hair. Um, if you are not looking to wash this out of your hair essentially. I do have some butters and hair growth oil on my website. You definitely want to check that out. I will link the website in my description box. So feel free to, to check it out. So after it's been detangled, you're just going to go ahead and twist and move on to the next section and repeat until the rest of the hair is completely done. Now in case you're wondering how often you should be using this, um, I would say two to three times a week is such a good time. I know I always say this guys, but it's super, super important when it comes to um, retaining moisture in your hair because that's what is gonna um, keep your hair thriving. Our hair is naturally dry. Um, unlike Caucasian hair, for example, where they've got a lot of sebum that travels from their roots all the way to you know the ends of their hair and keep it moisturized we have to put a lot more effort into moisturizing our hair and our hair just naturally thrives a lot better in moisture so that's why it's super important that you moisturize as often as you possibly can now also this contains some great great ingredients that are known to help stimulate hair growth so if you are looking to regrow your hair in areas where you may have lost hair or perhaps where your hair is thinning you definitely want to use as often as possible because this will certainly help you achieve that um, so I would say two to three times a week is a really, really good place to start. Obviously, you can use longer if you want to. And also, do not wash this out of your hair, guys. So apply to your roots, just like you can see me do here, and the rest of your hair. And essentially, just leave it in until wash day. What I found is every time that I use something that contains hibiscus, my hair just looks so much nicer. Like, literally, it looks darker. It looks shinier and it just looks healthier in general so it's super super amazing and i do hope that you guys go ahead and try this recipe um you will most definitely love it and if you do guys or even if you don't let me know in the comment section down below what your experience um has been using this i would really love to know so this brings me to the end of the video guys so I hope that you've enjoyed watching so far and if you did don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to the channel guys if you're not already I would really really appreciate it and also don't forget to check my website so you can purchase your amazing high growth oils that are known to work and yeah I would really really appreciate it and I also want to use this opportunity to say a huge thank you to all of you guys that have already patronized my small business 
it really really means a lot so thank you so much if you're one of those watching today's video so that's it for me today thank you so much for watching guys and i'll catch you in my next video bye